Hello and welcome. As we continue on with the theme of gratitude throughout the month of October, I wanted to share a little bit more about haiku. And writing and learning about haiku has helped me so much to heal and it continues to help me to be present, to practice awareness and to have gratitude every single day. And it's just become a part of my everyday life, just like brushing my teeth. And it's, it's really been so beneficial. And for those of you who are new to my newsletter, as well as to my YouTube channel, you may or may not know what haiku actually really is. It's a little bit hard to define. It's not what people uh, tend to think that it is. It is not really based on a 575 syllable count, but it can be. I just don't follow that format. The essence of haiku is re really about capturing a moment and putting it into three short lines that clearly illustrates what the poet is feeling and experiencing. And it implies a feeling without telling the reader directly what the feeling is. And it, it's very experiential and it takes you inward, it takes you in to actually feel the words. And the words that give you images of moments from life that can convey or suggest a feeling that can offer insights into nature as well as human nature. And haiku can express a range of feelings from a sorrow and longing to happiness and joy that is really based on simple everyday moments that we can be grateful for. It's the simple things. And the world is changing before our eyes and it can be really hard. It's been very challenging and it can be really uncomfortable. The best thing I can suggest is to not uh, not watch the news. That's one thing that I, I really have stopped doing and that's really been helpful. And also when we practice gratitude for even the small things, you'll find that it can ease that discomfort and to help to trust that some problems are only temporary and things are changing. They will change. We will get through this. And when life throws a curveball, it can be the perfect opportunity for personal growth and healing and learning how to navigate through these unknown, this unknown territory can be unsettling. And I personally am trusting in the changes that are upon us in a positive light for more abundance, love and healing for our future as a collective. So that's the vision that I have. That's the vision that I'm holding. And I hope this inspires others to do the same. What simple things in your everyday life are you most grateful for? Wild mushrooms, hidden shadows in the stillness of the midday sun. Wild mushrooms, hidden shadows in the stillness of the midday sun. If you would like to learn more about Everyday Haiku, click on the link below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please sign up for my free weekly newsletter for haiku inspiration that these videos are based on. You can sign up on my website that is in the link below. I will post another video next week, so we'll see you then.